I have to put out a warning before I give you the instructions on how to make this. I made one, and before I knew it, I had to make more, and I made it for the hummingbirds, and then all these other birds started coming to it, and my, my deck is full of birds, all taking baths. Well, anyways, let's just get into it. It costs next to nothing to make, and anybody can do it. It's so easy, but it was supposed to be for the hummingbirds, and now everybody's coming. This has been phenomenal. The very second I put this fountain out that I made, they were coming to it. I had to grab my camera so fast, I couldn't believe how fast they were coming. You guys have been screaming about wanting a ball because you know I have the ball fountain that the hummingbirds love and they lay on it and roll on it. And the problem is buying one of those ball fountains can cost you hundreds of dollars. So we've worked on different projects to keep the price down. And I've been trying to come up with a different ball that you can do because we've made the cement ones. We've made the styrofoam. This is the best thing. This is the easiest. You can do it. Anybody can do it. You sit down, you put this thing together in minutes, you put it outside. And if you've got hummingbirds, they're going to go wild over this because I couldn't believe my eyes when I put it out there, turned my back, and they were all over it. Let's go in the house and let's go make this. And you're going to just be floored how easy it is to make this wonderful, fun fountain from a turkey baster. All you need to know is a couple tricks and you'll be able to use this ball for your hummingbirds for so cheap. You can get those for a dollar. You may have one lying in the drawer that you're not using. And now you can have the best fountain in the world. Compact, portable, that all your birds are going to love. So for this fountain, we're going to need a soda bottle. Any color, whatever type. And we're going to need a turkey baster. You can get them at the dollar store anywhere. Target, everybody's got it. But I prefer the one from Walmart. Walmart's is about $2, but you know what the bonus is? It comes with a brush and I'm using it to clean my hummingbird feeders. And I like the shape of theirs, but you know, you pick out the one that you want. Now we need to trim that bottle. And I make a hole with my soldering iron so I can get my scissors in. When you want to get a straight line on how to cut the bottle, see how I did the line here? I just hold my pen and I turn the bottle. Turn it all the way around. Do not move your pen until you get all the way around and now you've got your line exactly where to cut. So here I use a little scissors and just trim it. We don't need the label, so we're gonna remove the label. So you can do it either before or after, totally up to you. Now the next thing we're gonna to have to do is make a hole in the top of the turkey baster, right there. That is where you're gonna put your tubing through. Whether you use a straw that you can buy from most stores or a flexible tubing that you can buy either online, the link is below, or you can go to a tropical fish store or a hardware store and get the tubing there. It would be good to bring your solar fountain kit, the pump, so you can make sure you get the right tubing size. Now I make the hole with a soldering iron, but as you see to the right, I've also made it where I've cut it with the scissors. So you do it whatever way will work for you. And when you're done with the soldering iron, put your finger in there and kind of rub off the, the loose rubber from the top of the turkey baster, of course, when it's cool. Now with my hot soldering iron, I'm making a notch on the side of the soda bottle. Now that's gonna hold the cord from my solar fountain kit because there's a long cord on that. And this way it won't float around and it holds it nice and snug. Now I'm gonna demonstrate here a couple different ways to put this together, because it will depend on what you have. The turkey baster on this one is gonna go on the top of the soda bottle and it's gonna slide in there. It's very simple. We're, all, we're actually almost done. And this way, when the pump goes on the bottom, you're gonna have this thing totally portable. You can even put it in a vase or anything you've got a trash can. Now, I, this is the solar fountain kit I get, but we're not gonna use all that. Just the pump and maybe an attachment. You can use a straw, like I said, or you can buy the tubing. And the tubing is very simple. You simply put it on either straight onto the pump or the attachments that come with it. You may have to struggle a little bit if it's tight put it in some hot water, you know, very warm water, and then slip it on. There's different ways of doing it. And then you're going to string your tubing through. Now do me a favor at this point. Do not cut it until you have it ready to put outside 
and test it. And if you're gonna cut it on the first cutting, cut it too long because you can't cut it shorter. Now on this one, you'll see I did make a perch. We're not gonna talk about the perch because sometimes they leak. So they work for me, but I put them in a vase or something. So we're not gonna talk about putting a perch on. It's offset and I put a skewer through and each end is cut. What I am gonna talk about is the edging I put on the soda bottle. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I use fabric paint, puffy fabric paint. Why? Fabric paint will not melt your bottle. I have found with the glue gun, unless you use it on low temperature, it can melt the bottle. It looks nice and it's really permanent and you just go all around the edge of the bottle and it will give the birds an extra place to sit if you're going to just stand it out the way it is. But you can completely omit this. It's not that important at all. And it's also good in case you think the bottle was a little sharp, but keep in mind the fabric glue will have to dry overnight completely. Now we almost have this together, but we still have to make some holes on the top part of the bottle. The part that's just underneath the turkey baster, so the water will flow right back into the bottom of the bottle. You know what? Let me take it out and show you so you can see better what I'm doing. So now you can see I'm making holes on only this part. This way, when the water trickles down from the bottom of the turkey baster, it's going to go through those holes back into the bottle and you won't lose any of the water. You can make as many holes as you want because if you don't make the holes, there may not be enough space there for the water to go back quick enough. So make a bunch of holes and then you just put it back together. Now here's something else that's fun. Some of the turkey basters do have designs on the top. This one did not. So I took my glue gun, of course, when it's hot, and I gently made a circle all the way around. This is going to give the hummingbirds a little perch and it sticks really good and it works great and they love it. Why not give them a little extra place to sit? Now you're done. You're ready to slide that tube right through the top of that turkey baster and put it together and fill it with water. All you have to do is get it outside and don't cut it until you're ready and you have it sitting where you want, look at it and then cut it to the size you want. Like I said, better to cut less in the beginning than too much. Now I'm gonna give you another option in case you have a straw because I love giving you bonuses because we all work on projects different ways. Now I have found these jumbo straws in big bags for like a dollar or two. You get a whole bunch of them, can't beat that. So I use one and a half straws for my soda bottles. And what I do is I just a little bit clip that up. So I'm kind of like making like a fan or I'm not sure what you would call it, but just a little bit cut it so it will collapse on itself. Now I'm going to slide that straw into the other half. You'll see how I do it here. I'm ready with my painter's tape. Just slide it in, make it real snug. And as soon as you get it in nice and snug, then you roll the painter's tape around it. You can put a couple layers of painter's tape on if you want. Yes, it is waterproof. I've been using it for all kinds of things in the garden as well as my fountains. So just roll the painter's tape on. And like I said, you can put a couple layers. You can put as many as you want. But this way you've got a nice tube that costs you just pennies. Now we're getting ready to put our straw on as our tube and uh-oh, it doesn't fit, it's too big. No worries. Take that painter's tape, get enough that you need. If it's too wide, just you know, take a little bit off and roll it around the attachment to your pump that you're going to attach your tubing to. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make your pump attachment a little bit thicker. Don't try to go on the inside of the straw, it won't work. And let me tell you something, I do this all the time and it works and it lasts. So put it on all the way around. Don't even worry if it's bumpy because it's gonna fit really snug that straw. And look at this, you twist it on like a screw and boom, it's on and you are ready to go with your fountain. You're done. Now you're going to assemble it the same way as if you had a regular tubing there. You're gonna put it together and now you're just gonna cut it. I don't worry too much about cutting these, they're so cheap. If I make a mistake, I grab another straw. And there you go. It is now ready to be put outside just like this, but I like to put it into something. It looks more attractive outside. I think it looks cuter, but you put it anywhere you want. Let's get this thing filled with water. And by the way, I have bonuses at the end. A few more helpful, clever tips on making these fountains. 
So now I put them outside and I fill them with water. I've been making these and I'm gonna tell you this has been one of the favorites of the hummingbirds. And think about it, it's a turkey baster. It's food safe and it's so soft and gentle on their feet. They love it. And when I put it out, they can't even decide which one they wanna to go to. I'm probably gonna have 10 of them around because they're so portable. You can move them anywhere you want. You can put the bottle in the shade and you put the solar panel well, you can put that in the sun, of course. And so you can move around the fountain because it's got a long cord. Now you can run an electric pump on these if you prefer and you've got electricity, or you can buy the battery operated ones that work on a cell phone backup battery, a small power bank. Those work great too. They'll run for a few days. And of course, you're not gonna run them at night, so you can just unplug it and bring it in. Whatever way works for you. And that's if you're in full shade and you don't have any sun for the solar fountains. This has been a blast. Look at this. They come and they just scrub all day. And well, I don't even know what else I can say. I've been so excited about this. I couldn't wait to get this out for you to do because you can find these turkey basters everywhere. And I'm sure you've even got one in a drawer. So Thanksgiving is in here right now. Use it to make a bird bath. Go get a new one. You deserve that when Thanksgiving rolls around. This has been so fun. Now I'm gonna get into a couple tips in a second. And keep in mind, I've got tons of videos on all the different types of solar fountains. And you can check that out as well as something happens, how to fix things, how to make things bigger or smaller when it comes to tubing. Well, there's a ton of them. Go check out the playlist. And notice that a little hummingbird landed on the fabric paint. It's like a rubber and it's so soft, they love it. Now let's get in and check out the extra little added tips in case you have these as a concern. Now a couple added tips, depending on how you're making it. If you wanted to, you could leave the turkey baster intact. You will have to cut a little bit off on the bottom and you could slide it into the bottle. This will also hold it, give it a little bit of lift and you would be able to run your tube through the center and then you would still make your hole. So that is another way if you wanted a little more lift and it holds it tight. And one other thing, if you get a turkey baster, that does not fit the top of your bottle, just make a couple slices in the bottle with maybe the soldering iron or a little saw, and then this will flex, and you'll be able to screw that on if you wanna go that way. But remember, this is another way. Just leave it on, cut this, and then stick it in your bottle, and it will stay nice and taut. And if you've got water flowing way too hard, you can make a couple small holes all through the pipe. Start with one or two and see how that works. This way your pipe will be leaking some of the water out back into the reservoir and less water will come through the top if it's going too hard. I hope you enjoyed this water fountain as much as I do, and I hope you make some. I think your birds are going to love it. If you've got hummingbirds, they should be all over it. If not, don't worry, because other birds have been coming to it, too. So go ahead and leave your comments. You can't believe how many more things are coming. I can't believe it, because I am making fountains everywhere. So I really do hope you enjoyed this. Hey, if you can, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I love it. So you'll be able to get notified when I go live, as well as making new fountains and, of course, you know I'm gardening too. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Isn't that baby Oriole adorable? That's a little baby. He's coming here and he doesn't know which fountain he wants and he keeps taking baths. That is just so fun. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.